have to be in, believe it or not, in three weeks. Woo. We'll uncover the problems not good. and fix them next. our house detective, Steve Ramos, a certified home inspector. Some magic tricks, because it's going to take okay. some magic tricks uh, when it comes to this house. This house has been neglected for about 40 years, I believe you said. Yeah. All right. Basically a salvage job at this point. They're missing mm -hmm. pretty much everything once you walk through this door. All right. Uh, the catcher here, three weeks till they move in. So they're either going to be living out here in a tent, <laughs> or we got to help them out. Need your advice, definitely. Uh, we don't know where to begin. Okay, yeah. so the three things to focus on. Building needs to be weather tight. Okay. It needs to have a, a good source of working plumbing, and we need a source of heat. Inside Amy's bathroom, where there are some interesting plumbing issues. Amy, I gotta ask, what's up with the hose? <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we're using that to flush the toilet now. So really? Okay. We, need, we need to fix that too. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to redo the uh, mainline water to the house, and so now we have a hose in our toilet that you can't flush it without using the hose. So, not really convenient. The plumbing's a bigger problem than we thought. Wow. We so, have some water on the floor also down there um, coming out, so I don't know if the toilet's leaking or the pipes are leaking. So or, your big concern is okay. finding out if it's leaking because you don't want to rip up this tile, you obviously. definitely yeah. don't want to touch All the right, tile. Great. Well, I actually have a way to assess this floor for water damage oh. without having to pull the tile up because sometimes that water gets trapped in between the subfloor and the tile itself. Steve has x-ray vision. That's helpful. He's going to need it. Uh, pretty darn close. It's called thermal vision. or This is actually a thermal imaging camera. It okay. measures differences in heat. When something is wet, it's going to radiate a different temperature, and it'll draw a picture on my screen. So it'll let us assess this floor uh, without ripping it up. Oh, great. So if you want to kind of take a look at the screen here, and you can see the base of the toilet. You can see right there where the bolts are. Yeah. And then you can see right in behind it, see how it's really dark? Oh, yeah. That's indicating a lower temperature, and that's telling me that this floor is wet. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. So in order to save this tile, a couple things are going to need to happen. We're going to have to stop the water from okay. leaking, replacing the toilet, probably this sink as well. And then I need to assess the structure as well. If the structure's intact, we can dry this floor out, save the tile. Okay. If it's not, we may have a different plan of attack. How that doesn't include a sledgehammer? No, <laughs> not on my tile. I can't do that. All right. Down in the basement, we check to see if the structure under the toilet has taken a hit from the leak and whether Amy's antique tiles will survive. So, okay, so there's the toilet there. Now, the framing doesn't look too bad, but let's take our, our imager here and let's look underneath because one of the things this will do is will tell us again if that water's made it all the way through the floor. Let's come a little closer here. So you can see there's the drain, there's the pipe, and you see those dark spots? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's water right there. So that toilet is definitely leaking. You know, what I'm not seeing, though, is I'm not seeing a lot of structural damage there. Well, that's good, it sounds like. That is actually really good news. So this is a case where you can dry the floor out okay. rather than having to rip it out. So we don't good. have to lose the tile. That's right. Good. Woo.